Julie. Thanks for joining me for a Bible journaling process video. So I'm starting off by masking, just with a little bit of washi tape, my verse. And the verse is Lamentations 3, 22 and 23. It talks about the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. So what do you think I'm painting down here? I'm making a sunrise because it says they are new every morning. His mercies are new every morning. This is something that I claim a lot in my life because I mess up a lot. And so then I can just say to myself, Lord, your mercies are new for me every morning. It's a brand new day. So I really just wanted to paint a sunrise here and get this image of the new mercies every morning. Now, I am not a watercolor artist, but I love to see how watercolor works. So I've painted with just some plain water. I put some of that on the page first, and then I use some watercolor that's good and wet and a good wet brush, and I just get some color on the page, and you see how I'm just dabbing it. I'm not really painting. I'm just dropping the paint on where it's already wet, and then the color just kind of has a mind of its own. I'm just pushing the paint around a little bit to get it to go a little bit where I want it to go, but really I'm letting it do what it wants to do. And now I'm adding some purple. I started with the yellow, added a little bit of orange in there, just a dab of pink. I needed to make sure that my page is still wet because it started to dry. Now see here again with this purple, I'm not painting the whole thing. I'm just dabbing some and then I let the water just run, the paint run into the water. I go back over it. I blend a little bit, but it's going to blend on its own. Add a little bit of the yellow up at the top. And this is just... It's so super easy, but you can't feel like you've got to be in control, and that's the thing. And hey, that's a lesson because we're not in control. God's in control, right? So that's one reason why I love to do watercolor like this because it's just a reminder of how God is in control of everything, and I'm not. And I love just to see how He works things out, and this watercolor reminds me. And it's a beautiful finished product. Look at that. Now, I did have to dry it, and I did, um, it was longer than what I showed on the screen. I did cut that off just for time's sake, but I used my heat gun to dry that. Now, isn't that pretty? And when I took the masking off, it kept that verse clean and pristine so it just highlights that verse. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to stamp with our gorgeous stamps that are here on the stamp set and I'm going to just place my words where I want them and the words I'm going to use are his steadfast love endures forever because that's the first verse the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. So I'm just stamping that kind of as my title here. And these stamps, what I love about the Creative Retreat stamps, they are so crisp and clean, and you get a clean, clear image. And I am using the um, Versafine Black Onyx ink, and it does bleed through, so be prepared for that. But it is a clear, um, crisp image that you get, and it's good for detailing, and it's also permanent. So if I want a watercolor, or if I want to paint with it, um, it's not going to run. So I do love this ink. Now, I'm going to use the word indoors, and I'm going to put it on this banner, and I'm going to make it fit and curve on that little um, swervy banner. And that's the wonderful thing about these little stamps. These are photopolymer stamps. I keep calling them acrylic, but they're photopolymer stamps. That's the material. And you can bend them. And so with these little curvy banners, I can just bend it and make it go the way I want it to. And I love that effect. So I put endures on the little curvy banner. But I'm going to move it over because the word forever, just the way it fits, I want it to um, fit pr uh, just right. So I moved it over there. That's better. And now we have this little image that has a heart and some swirls to it. And I'm going to use that kind of as a break between my title here. I'm going to stamp it right there. And that's going to separate 
my title and then what I'm going to do below. And I'm also going to put one up there by my verse just to kind of highlight that verse and mark it off. Now I'm going to use my Hexi Alphas, and you're going to see just a couple of ways that you can use these. I just wanted to show you. You can use these Hexies kind of like, um, you know, how DNA looks where it's um, in a chain, or you can use them straight across. You can use them, and I'm going to end up moving it more into a half circle, a semicircle. So these are so versatile. I love these Hexi Alphas, and then these... Um, they're purple and it's just so much fun. So what I'm putting on the page here is mercies, new, and morning. I'm going to fill in the words, your mercies are new every morning. Actually, I'm going to start by writing his. But here's what I'm doing. I'm taking some of these hearts and I'm making them kind of flow out of the sunrise because this is the impression of his love and his mercies, how they're new every morning. So I went with the yellow, the closest to the yellow, then the purple, and then the dark purple to give that same effect of the sunrise, the colors of the sunrise. I'm just outlining my hearts now just to make them pop out so you can see them against the paint, against the backdrop. And I am trying to copy the way that Ellie's script says his, the way that the stamp, and I didn't like the way that turned out. I'm going to come back and fix that. So right now it says his mercies are new every morning. And what I do then to fix that, because I don't like the way that looks, is I come in with the sticker that says your, and you'll see what I do here. I'm just going to cover up where I put his and I put your. And now See where I took the mercies, the word mercies, I made them into a half circle and I used the sticker that says your. So now it becomes more like a prayer. Your mercies are new every morning. And I'm outlining those alpha stickers just to make them pop out a little bit more. I add my journaling down here at the bottom, which says, your love is so steadfast and enduring. Every morning your mercies are new, which means your grace covers my previous day's mistakes and mess ups and I can start all over. So I'm adding some washi tape. I've got some purple gingham kind of washi tape and that's going to match and I'm coming in and getting rid of that sticky adhesive on the back of my tag, my tab, by using my um, just a powder tool and I've got that linked in the comment section. I'm adding a little bit of yellow washi and I put my beautiful purple bow up there. I do add a couple of the stickers off, off screen and you'll see them in the pictures. And that was just to bring in a couple more of the green elements to the bottom of the page to balance it out a little bit more. I added the never fails and then a green heart at the bottom. I'm also going to come up here with my tag and add a little bit of a purple background with just some of the watercolor paint. So here are a few close-ups of the page. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. I hope you enjoyed this process. And if so, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and make sure to go to the creative retreat link that I provide and subscribe to the kit or make sure to pick yours up. You won't regret it. Until next time, bye-bye.